Hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here and welcome back to Tuesday. It's not Tuesday Sally, it's Wednesday. Welcome back to Teaching Tips and a very happy new year to all of you. I hope you've all had a good break and have remained safe and happy and have managed to see all the loved ones that you wanted to see. So today I'm just going to introduce you to what we're going to be talking about this term actually. We're going to have a whole term of discussion and teaching tips for this idea of developing a repertoire rich piano studio. And this is something that I have started to do increasingly, I suppose in the last 10 years certainly, but even more so probably in the last five or six years, and really, really begun to understood the importance of the students learning a, a real, um, a whole, a, a lot of pieces rather than just concentrating on two or three, as tends to often be the way. So during the whole of this term, I'm going to be looking at this idea of repertoire rich teaching, and I'm going to be sharing with you some of my own favorite teaching repertoire and some of the tips, a few tips for how to teach it. I'm also going to be um, telling a little bit more about uh, various things like the 30 piece, 40 piece challenge, not my idea, Elissa Milne's, um, but I'm doing that with my students this term. But first I wanted to start by saying, uh, thinking about why, um, why it's important and first of all, what is a repertoire rich approach? So with a repertoire rich approach, the emphasis is on learning many pieces, many pieces that are all within the grasp of the student. We're not looking at pieces that are always pushing them beyond their comfort zone. And I'm sure you'll recognise that if you keep moving beyond where you are comfortable with, eventually you lose motivation and you give up. So this is the why. Why is it important for students to learn lots of pieces that they can actually see that they could do really quickly, rather than two or three pieces that are just deeply uncomfortable to start with? I would say at this point there's always a balance. I'm not saying they shouldn't learn harder pieces because that will happen, but the balance should be in favour of the pieces they can play, maybe within two to three weeks, maybe even some of them even quicker. We'll get into all that later on, as I say, in the term, because this is going to be the theme. So by increasing the number of pieces learned and crucially making sure that that repertoire is well within their student, their reach, motivation stays high and they love sharing all the pieces that they've done. I get them to self-assess whether they've reached an acceptable standard with every single piece. You know, it's not a question of they can play it hand separately. The music has to have integrity for, in order for them to be able to tick it off and say, yeah, that's all there as part of my 30 or 40 piece challenge. More of that in the next weeks or so, I'm gonna be talking with you about my own experiences, how my students are doing, in my teaching studio as well as sharing with you some of my favorite repertoire and if you've got a piece of repertoire that you are currently teaching and you'd like to hear some of my thoughts about how i would teach that or how i do teach it then please do share whatever that piece is um, in the comments below just down here and i'll try and include it at some point over the next few weeks or so so here we go repertoire rich teaching studio I'll see you next week for more on the same subject. Bye-bye.